In the early 1980s, President and Sister Mary Louise Sullivan began the construction of seven houses on Residential Boulevard on Cabrini's campus. Known as McGuire, Dixon, Infante, McManus, Casey, Lanchi, and Sullivan House, these residence halls have been the home to many students. I live in a double with my roommate, his name is Mark. Um, we got along pretty well. Um, and, you know, I met a lot of my close friends now in house too. Um, but we had a lot of fun and it was great. But it was just older and, you know, like the cabinets in the kitchen were like weird. So we'd all, always order out because we were all so close, no one really cared too much. Well, I did get to see them and I was upset that I was not able to live in house two when it was renovated like that because now it's just, you know, very nice. Um, they have like that stone that's going up and I'm like, you got to be kidding me. But it's, you know, it was great seeing the renovation. I'm glad that students from here on out are able to experience something as nice as it is now. Currently we live in house seven. When I was a sophomore, I lived in house two. It was one of the most enjoyable situations I've ever been a part of. I got to live with two of my best friends. We, we, ha we shared a bathroom with two of our other very close friends and it was just a very ideal situation. Uh, well, my freshman year I lived in Woodcrest and I just felt there was a lot of people in there. Whereas in House 7, all my close friends almost live in House 7. We, we spend a lot of time together, even though sometimes we can get on each other's nerves. We're almost like a family to an extent. It's great. Um, and I lived in House 5. I lived there for the summer when I worked in admissions, giving tours, uh, because I worked here I was allowed to live in House 5. Um, and it was like having a beach house away from the beach. Um, I lived there with my best friend Chris. He worked here in the Idarola Center doing research, um, along with 10 or 11 other guys. Um, really good experience. Um, I went back uh, alumni weekend last year, and uh, nothing changed. Pretty much the same place. Um, I transferred in here in the House 5 my junior year, and that was 1999. So I transferred there and then my senior year, 2000, when I graduated, was House 7. House 7 was the first year that they actually renovated everything. I mean, I had a great experience there. I liked the fact there was about 25 people to the house. Guys were upstairs, girls were downstairs. Um, everybody got along well. Everyone felt safe with all the people that lived there. You know, no one, and you had all different walks of life, meaning that you had athletes, you had people in student government. You had people in the theater, you had people that weren't in any of those, you know, and who might have just worked. You know, you might hear um, the phrase that people live in, you know, within their own silos, and it wasn't like that. You know, everybody got along very well. I lived in House 5 in 2010, and I lived with my two best friends, um, and they're still my very good friends. And we decided to live there because House 5 sort of gave us... Um, like the feeling like we had a little bit more responsibility, like there was a kitchen and uh, we could all live in the same, like we could all be in the same room. Um, and then our other two best friends got in the room right next to us. So the five of us had like our own little wing of the house, which was fun. Um, one of my favorite memories is uh, our, all our guy friends lived in house six, um, which is obviously right next door. And uh, we would, when it was nice out or even when it was snowing, we would just all go outside and just have like cookouts in the front or we would sled like down the front hill and stuff like that. So it was always fun. Over the years, the houses have provided a home away from home to so many Cabrini students and will continue to do so for years to come.